You may have just come back from the dentist and been told that you need a deep cleaning. What they are telling you is that you have a periodontal problem. You have a disease in your mouth and it is a disease caused by bacteria that are in our saliva. They're always there. I mean, we can't stop them being there, but what has occurred is they have found a place, a habitat in your mouth where they have found the ideal conditions to multiply. And when these, what they call opportunistic bacteria, these are these little bacteria that wait for the opportunity, find this little pocket space between your tooth and your gum, then in that space, they create poisons that basically disable the mechanism that holds your gum tightly to your tooth. And this opens up something called a pocket. And into that pocket, these opportunistic periodontal pathogens, that's a mouthful, basically bad guys, bad bacteria, get in there and they create inflammation, they create poisons that gradually break the connection between your gum and your tooth. Sometimes in certain mouths, the, 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 the bacteria of plaque also get in that pocket and they harden up so you will have what's called subgingival calculus. This is crusty plaque down under the gum line. It can also be on top of the gum line if you're a plaque former, but it can be everywhere around your teeth as well. But it is the pockets that are the real danger. What your dentist is believing is that by scraping and cleaning this gap space between the gum and the tooth, that you will be released of some of the burden on your body that you are going to experience from these opportunistic bacteria. Unfortunately, dentists do not believe that this disease can be cured. And the reason that they have this philosophy is that they have been unsuccessful. You see, you can take a test. If you want to take a test, there is something called an, uh, an oral DNA test. And you spit into a test tube, send it to the lab, and they can see the numbers of these periodontal pathogens, these bad bacteria that get into the pockets. And we know that when they reach a certain level in your liquids of the mouth, in your saliva, that they are multiplying rapidly. And that is when they can cause damage to your body. They can cause a heart attack, they can cause brain damage, they can cause a risk for stroke, they can cause preterm birth and pregnancy. They are very dangerous and they are connected with a lot of chronic inflammatory diseases. So you cannot ignore these bacteria. And if you have a test of your saliva and that's what it shows, your dentist is going to recommend this deep cleaning to try to clean out those pockets. Your hygienist may recommend some sort of squirty water pick to try to wash out the pockets. They're going to try and do everything mechanical that they can to clean. Now the problem is if you don't clean your saliva, chances are that your saliva is going to go back down in that pocket and it's just going to keep reoccurring. And the, the real sad part of this is that many dentists prescribe antibiotics, which will work for six months to a year. And they will retake your test and you will see all the bad guys have gone away. But the trouble is they call it a, a, a refractive problem. It, in other words, it comes back again. And the only reason it comes back again is it was never cured in the first place. But if you can get your periodontal pockets to seal themselves up, if those pockets can be reattached, which I believe they can, and you have no more of that gap, that pocket, not only will we see a reduction in the number of these bacteria in your saliva, but they won't reoccur. And this is so important because this is a transferable disease. Once you have those pockets sealed, once you have reestablished the connection when you no longer have periodontal pockets, you cannot then be at risk. So if your dentist wants to do this deep cleaning for you, 
It sounds like a great idea, right? A good way to start, perhaps. Not so fast. It was shown that if you had a deep cleaning, immediately after that, you would have more pathogens in your mouth. And that might be a weird thing to get your head around unless you have a garden and you rototill weeds. Because if you chop up weeds in your garden and don't pull them out or kill them in some other way, the chances are you will have more weeds after you have rototilled the ground. You chop them up and you leave the seeds lying around, you'll just have more of them. Don't be at all surprised if the following year everything is back to where it was before. So my suggestion would be use my Complete Mouth Care System and Xylitol for ideally six months, but if you're scared, three months, and then go back and have the deep cleaning. You could either have a periodontal pathogen test done before you start. It's good to have a picture of your problem. And then of course you can see your progress. It's about $200 per test. So you may decide, well, why test now? I know I have a problem. Let me just work on it for six months and then test, see how I'm doing. You won't have quite the same satisfaction, but you will at least have a benchmark of where you are. And I'm not telling you that your use of my strategies is going to make your gums completely heal straight away. I call them the four keys. One is your oral care routines, which is how you brush, what kind of brushes, what you use, all the things that I teach my, my clients. Second thing, how much time you give your mouth to heal itself. You see, we have this incredible liquid, our saliva in our mouths, and it is full of immune cells that can help heal your gums. So we have to give it time. And I teach people the afternoon hours are ideal for this healing. So have your meals, have some xylitol, and then really try to give your mouth time an hour at least, when you are not eating or drinking anything, not even sips of water. And that beautiful undiluted saliva will help to heal your gums. So that's the second thing, what I call mouth resting time. The third thing would be your diet, your meals. What do they look like? What are you eating? Not only nutritionally, but also the patterning of eating for your health. And then the final thing would be, how is your digestion? How is the health of your digestive bacteria? Usually in periodontal disease, there is a digestive imbalance component. This is important to realize because if you work at your mouth health with poor digestion and poor immune health, you're not going to have this natural healing that is necessary to help you. So as you work on your mouth health, realize also you need to work on your digestive health. I recommend you work from the far ends of the spectrum. I would always give somebody a colon health probiotic. I happen to like Garden of Life. I think they do a great job with their probiotics. Very simple, you can buy it in grocery stores quite easily in America, but a probiotic that helps you with your digestive health at the same time you're working on your oral health. Please note, I did not say an oral probiotic. We can't improve our mouth the same way that we improve the bacterial diversity of our gut. Our bacteria in our gut, they float around, they're independent, they can be nurtured by probiotics. Our mouth bacteria that we're dealing with are very static. They aren't easily changed. And I have other videos about this, but just take it from me. Using an oral probiotic may be a complete waste of your money. Most of them contain some xylitol, which is good. That will make them work a little bit, but better to use just xylitol for now, certainly in the first six months. It's also important to consider your nasal health. Many people forget this. It is a crucial component of gum disease. Chronic sinus infections are often the same kind of bacteria that we find in periodontal disease pockets. That is the time if you, after you've done what you can for six months and your dentist then says you still have a problem, 
Maybe taking an antibiotic will help you get rid of sinus problems, get rid of your mouth bacteria, all of them, because that's what an antibiotic is going to do. It's going to wipe out good and bad, all of them. Reestablish the good ones immediately by using xylitol and my complete mouth care system. By doing that, along with taking care of your colon health and your diet and nutrition, you should be able to not only cure your periodontal pockets and stop the need for these ongoing treatments, but you might find a substantial change in your overall body health. Many, many people report to me once they have their nose, their mouth, and their digestive health in balance, they had so much more energy, so much more health benefit as an overall. So do what you can for the first three to six months using the strategies I recommend. Then go back for an evaluation, potentially have a deep cleaning if they still recommend it. If, however, like many, many people, the exciting moment comes, you go back and they say, you don't need anything. That is a great moment for you. You may be skeptical and say, well, no dentist is going to tell you you don't. There are dentists who are totally honest. I have been to them and they have told me I don't need a cleaning. And eventually, I hope you get to that place where you are told, congratulations, you no longer need a cleaning. Because that means your mouth is in balance, you don't have periodontal disease, you will be protected from infection, which is a huge and very important thing, particularly as we age.